I for me a short so what to say a out of forcing. Um, yet you know, you need it now a year and brandy ma court and then a chicky digging the fire. Nanny Nana say a brand name this was so out of forcing. Um, now or a deputy a year, um, health minister. Your man contract to be a Nessica a womb a year two point a year three seven million a year euros. Say Uncle Fa a year ambulances a year two hundred ambulances and for me pure my name. Nano and an NPP for a bear. A year, um, a bay one or more a big take you over. No, or my cochet a young cratam no more was a dealer, and as a contract, a demand to force you know, mistake be a woman, she could be a fa and go for being sassy, and she ya chain out of force and Edna Cogina and Brenim for causing a financial loss to the state. Na I know, and out of forcing any a and a third accused person, a year Richard a year Jackpa, or Mumia do any other contracts in a moment. No Mumia no quite do idea bomb or almost someone you quite do into. Omo enye bi bi ya, onye boni bi ya. Na ni na anko dan chen. Omo wosu, e wosu, e ye ko, e wo kwa otu wansen sem. Na nu ene ndi isi fo, ebe ye press conference. Na wo ndi isi fo, press conference, na se, en omo kase. Omo wane, e ye gofet o dame. Se on stay out from, e ye sa hansen sem we na, e nye sa omo di evidence, ebe ba. Last Thursday, 23rd March, 2024. The third accused person in this case, Richard Jaka took the stand to be cross-examined by counsel for Dr. Atufosu. During this cross-examination, Attorney General Godfrey Odami shot up from his seat to accuse Mr. Richard Japa of defending Atufosu rather than himself. In response to the Attorney General's accusation, Mr. Japa, who was testifying under oath, and felt attack without provocation, dropped a bombshell that Godfrey Odame, the Attorney General, has been, has been having clandestine meetings and telephone conversations with him at odd hours to persuade him to falsely testify against the minority leader, Dr. Atufosin, so that the prosecution can secure a conviction. Now, I go for the and resign as a attorney general. Now, no, and I NPP phones by a conference, a press conference, na I am a B, I am Harry Boache, or no, and a national organizer, Edema, I am NPP, and you can also be counted as a NDC phone, or many very careful because any media, and also any idea, some no name of a court. A rat of forcing. What up, I didn't know. As some media more, you have a kind of law court. Say, you almost some baby, Janier, for law court. No more, you almost some to media, more boy. And you and your jumane, and your jumachere. What were Ghana cut? Go and answer. Where did Ghana dream? Go and answer. Yes, what were Ghana chrono? Go and answer. And you have a number fake tape, near doctor tape. Manipulated tape, ya kikesi ye ni. Eva oke hosa message ni soa, baby. Ono papa jakwe ina air kache. Ye ra gofre dame se opese o shia nonin ye meeting. Ana ye ra gofre se, unu ya, ena munu ya sene mami hui. Unu ya su ye Supreme Court judge. Ah, ye freno, Justice Emmanuel Joni Kolendi. O obos non kode mano. Endi si fwo munti. On resign ne. On resign o china. Because why an attorney general and why in a Juma Senya se Senya Fata Mo doctored mu fake tape ne maki can see a ni and never my any yano and could see baby ya or because why in a juma y be shall court nia can yasem or court and ye media munye beka a bush for Yamisha mo Na no ene ndi zifo omu koko paye ewa press conference na se ene ene eye ame siyo di ngeti ya omu rilizi eye dis eye audio e di ba monte na audio ni eye conversation between eye um, Godfrey or Dame eye to the general ene eye the third accused person eye Richard eye Jackpa na conversation when eye have been eye day before na eye Richard Jackpa ebe kwa ku pim ewa court a kwa ku dia dance ye niti ya no ene ama ensensin bi aba hon no agree to the way you want to go the way you want to go about it you let I give you let us carry it away. You let us carry it away. Do you want to go about it? Okay, fine. Do it this way. For me, it makes it simple. 
Yes, it will make it, 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 it doesn't also involve it doesn't involve any difficulty for you. Yes, I agree. I yes, understand your point. It doesn't, doesn't, when you say there's no advancement, yes, yes, when you say there's no advancement, there's no advancement uh, ordinarily meaning in Ghana uh -huh. that you 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 don't pay until you get your goose. Now the contract here, even the clear terms, unless maybe you guys did not draft a contract for it says this is on site of goose shall be established upon the signing of the contract for every time. Well, it was the contract was drafted by government. It was done by government. And it, it, and, and it was an and, and and LG, LG department perused the contract and approved the contract for government. It, it is not a problem. We had the approval. Every contract that we approved mm -hmm. before later when they implemented it, and problems. You, you uh, see, uh, what uh, the, the difficulty uh, I have, I have with your, uh, your your position is that you see, I if you, frankly speaking, fine as you are saying, if I agree to your your, your position. How you want to go about it and how you want me to go about my answering question sentence. If I go by that way, frankly speaking, I'll be dishonest because I know that is not how it's supposed to be. And I'll be dishonest and I'll be dishonest in such a way that I'll be assisting for someone I know is completely innocent about this. For example, I'm too forcing to be jailed because I knew something was wrong, was not the way, and I decided to, to, to keep quiet and to answer the question in a way that will make your case better for you to jail in. I'll, I'll be battling with my conscience. That is the problem I'm having. Any anytime you bring up this issue with my uh, with Yoni Kulendi, when we went to Yoni Kulendi's place, anytime you bring this issue, that is my problem I'm having. Because me, for example, I am in this case because I'm innocent and I'm going through ordeal. So I'm looking at another person also going to go through ordeal and through me because I know the truth and I decide not to say it because I want to help the AG make his case. And I ask myself, what is what is my interest in it? I'm not asking you to really help me. I'm just going by it. But anyway, so so so, so that's fine. So this one was even just by the way. I, 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 I hope you get my difficulty. So, uh, it's, 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 on, it's on the phone. I don't even know that. Oh, no, no, no. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah. Don't worry about that one. My yeah, issue, my yeah, issue, yeah, issue yeah, I'm just... I'm just... Oh, no. Or, you and no, I will no, be meeting... No. You'll be, you'll be meeting well, me or at my at my cousin's place and you've been bringing yeah, this so, issue up several, um, several that, times. That, and I keep telling so, you that okay, I can't do that because so it doesn't, say, it, it doesn't sit well, well with me. The terms of contract. The terms of contract are simple. It is on size and established upon the side of the contract for every time with us. Yeah. <clears throat> the answer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. It's for and every... So when answer. you see that here, for every and 50 and ambulance, and then, means that yes, it's not only the 50. Yeah, okay. Uh -huh. For it every, means, it means that it is not only fifty. All right. Mean that right. there are a lot of fifties that will be following. Uh -huh. So that is what I was trying to explain to you. So frankly speaking, okay. the LC that was established was was as a security for the supplier to invest his own money since there's no advance. Right. Yes, it is the same type of UCP. Because LC was the means of payment. I yes. When yes. Uh, when the yes. conditions presidents are met. That he has he has the bill of ladings <laughs> the uh, ambulance have been shipped cool. and the bill of ladings are presented. That is when you can catch the LC. So until you ship the ambulances, yes, indeed, you can't catch that. the ambulance, you can't catch the LC. But that it was done in this case also. Yes, in this case, yes. When he shipped the ambulances, he then presented their documents to Ghana International Bank. And then Ghana International Bank refused to honor the LC and raised issues of discrepancies, which was later cleared by, by Animana at the Ministry of uh, Health for payment to proceed. And that is how he was paid. So, in frankly speaking, if there's somebody who authorized this payment to go on, even though in Ghana International Bank raised issues of discrepancies, it's Animana. He, okay. he he was doing, he, he was authorizing right. those payments. But you record when you had the Bank of Ghana officials and the Ministry of Officials and even 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 Sir mm -hmm. say that no payment can go on except with Ministry of Finance authorization. There's no way uh, Ministry of Health was In fact, Ministry of Health actually even their letter they said no, they should go ahead and produce ambulances. <laughs> no, oh, after that, <laughs> after that letter, after that letter that said IT wrote that they should suspend production those things was contrary to the terms of the contract and that letter went to the to your office the ag's office and the ag 
debunked that letter and wrote his legal opinion and told her that they should proceed. Uh, so AG, that letter had been destroyed by your, by your department, by your ministry. So that letter is of no value. It is the AG's legal opinion that overrode that letter. And Minister of Finance had to right. implement the AG's opinion. Yeah. And by the AG's legal opinion, they tell the contracts we on it. Uh, yes. Or they tell the contract we breach. And because they were all, they were already breached, and the all AG right. wanted them mm. to honor it. So that uh, should I test letter that you want to rely on is of no value. Honor it. 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 Yeah, they did. They st yeah. Yes, they still didn't honor some part of the contract. Mm. They honored the LC mm. part, but when it came to a pre shipment inspection, they refused to honor that particular part. Okay. Uh huh. So they waived their right, right to go and inspect. And then they turn around and blame people for you not going to inspect to rectify any manufacturing defect that the pre shipment inspection was meant to kill. Mm. Uh huh. So, Sherai. <laughs> Through her negligence and refusal to implement the principal inspection, created this problem. Mm. Uh -huh. That's what okay. I was trying so, to head. So, the reason I'm for that is that that's my timetable for, for the rest of the uh, Oh, that uh, means that you are not going to be around. So, yeah, and then even next week, the whole of next week, I will not be around. Um, it is a way of, <laughs> if you will not even finish next week. Because Uti Odio Nene Sema Bamontia, Godfrey Odame was trying to convince a Richard Jack Pase, Obekan Semono, Edie Gu, a year at two four cents. But Richard Jack Pa, Uti Odio Na, he denied everything into one or more anyaje. Now, no one in this for a say one is a Omo de Sembebri, Ebe Bamonte, say a year Godfrey Odame and resign. Then people for so a Baba reply and no social media and so on. Politics are a really a social media and see no case in now and I'm a dear bro. This is what the guy said in court is that this is Mr. Jaqua here. Mr. Jaqua here told the, uh, the the lawyer in cross examination, he mentioned it in cross examination, that uh, the attorney general has been urging him to fashion out a certain testimony and evidence. Jaqua is the one on the bottom right, and case is the one on the uh, upright, and the uh, learned attorney general is the one on the left. Jaqua on the bottom right is reported to have told the court that the Leonard Attorney General has reached out to him so that he may fashion his, uh, he may fashion his uh, evidence and testimony uh, so that the evidence and testimony that he gives will form the ammunition that the Attorney General needs to convict Case Latu Forsen. Well, the two of them are on the same trial and the allegations are similar. Latu Forsen is alleged to have procured some papers letters of credit issues that benefited him uh, so that they could they could bring the ambulance the letters of credit were procured the benefits may have been accrued may have accrued but the ambulance didn't come it took Hawakumsin and Anakufuado to provide those ambulances let's now go in to see the documentation that has been exchanged between the two parties now the attorney general already has achieved the prima facie case against both of them he has already achieved that a submission of no case from case Lato Forsen, and I believe himself, has already failed in the court. A prosecutor who has crossed the submission of no case and has succeeded thereon is not concerned about building his case. He has, he's already really on the highway. At that stage, it's the defense that is chasing the matter. It's not the prosecution that is chasing the defense. At the beginning, when the prosecution make their case, they have to satisfy everybody that the case has been made. Once the prosecution satisfies the court that the case has been made, from then on, it is the defense that is chasing the matter. It's not the prosecution. So the, the parliament of Ghana has uh, passed a plea bargaining law in Ghana. It was always part of the process, but now it's been made stronger because it's an act of parliament. And therefore, under Article 11 of the Constitution, is one of the second most important categories of law. When does plea bargaining come? Plea bargaining comes after the attorney general has made his case. And after the, uh, the defenses, the defense people have, the defendants, if you like, have tried to challenge the case and the court says, no, you have a question to answer. At that stage, plea bargaining is open to the uh, defendants. So defendants come and say, we have done what the uh, attorney general says we have done, but we don't think that we should go to prison. In lieu of going to prison, we will pay for it. Let's look at the next line of three letters that I will show you, and we'll go back to Sami Jinfi. Don't worry, we are coming. 27th April 2023, a letter written to the Honorable Attorney General and Minister for Justice. It says, Dear Sir, case number so so and so, case Salatu Forsen, uh, Sylvester Animana, who is now out of the case, and Richard Jackpap, proposal from Big C Trading Company. 
Okay, viewers, let's look at this well. They call it a proposal from Big C Trading Company. So it goes as follows. We act as lawyers for the third accused person. Third accused person is Richard Jackpa. Okay, the same person who says Attorney General has been telling him that he should come and design his case so that uh, Atofosi will go to jail and he won't go to jail. This is him writing to the Attorney General on the date of uh, 27th April 2023, last year. This is what he says. It says, we act as lawyers for the third accused person. As you would be aware, the matters that have resulted in the Republic instituting the above proceedings against the accused persons arise directly from a contract dated 19 December 2012 entered into between Big C Trading Company Limited and Government of the Republic of Ghana. Big C Trading Company Limited executed a contract through its local agent, Jakpa, at Business Limited, of which our client was the board chair and currently the executive chairman. Big C Trading Company Limited has approached our client with the enclosed proposal to resolve the matter. Our client has conceded and finds the approval, a, a, a proposal satisfactory and hereby forward the same to you in the hope that it will receive your favorable consideration. Viewers, this is what propaganda can do. You see, we are doing this work. This is what, th listen, listen to them. You heard Sami Jenfi speaking to journalists today. There is some shocking, the whole world must come down, everything must come to a head because this attorney general is some criminal. The person Sami Jenfi was talking about is the person writing to us. This is one of three letters I'll show you. Write it, I'll show you the attorney general's response to them as well. Write it to the attorney general saying that he is begging that the, the proposal that they have brought, the proposal determining how much they want to pay in lieu of going to jail, that the attorney general should consider it favorably. Sami Jenfi doesn't show this to the journalist. He doesn't show it to them. He comes on the, on the thing and says, hey, attorney general has called a guy. This is the worst. He doesn't tell the journalist that there's a letter like that. But we always obtain it. You know why? Because truth will always win over evil. Now, 16th May, they didn't get a response from the Attorney General on that one. 16th May, they wrote again, same people, same law firm, citing the same case. Case Olatu Forces, Sylvester Anamana, and Richard Jakpa. We refer to your letter dated 12th May. Your letter states that the Attorney General is unable to accede to our client's request to amicably settle the case for the reasons stated herein. In particular, you state that the proposal emanates from Big C, who are not a party before the case. Fantastic. So when they wrote to the Attorney General, Attorney General said, I'm not prosecuting Big C. I am prosecuting K. Salato Forsen and Richard Jakpa. I don't know Big C. So listen, they write to the Attorney General back. The man who says, Attorney General called me that I should do my case well to help him. He, his, let, his lawyers first wrote in the name of his company that his company wants to settle. Attorney General says, I'm not prosecuting the company, so forget about it. If you want to settle, come in the name of the people I'm prosecuting. All right. Says your letter states that the Attorney General is unable to accede to our client's request to amicably settle the case before the reasons, uh, settle the case for the reasons stated therein. In particular, this is the one of the reasons. In particular, Attorney General said that he's not prosecuting Big C. He said, you state, that the proposal emanates from Big C, who are not a party to the case before the court. We, the lawyers, would like to note that Big C is mindful of the fact that it is not party to the case and therefore cannot directly engage in settlement negotiations without the consent or authority of the party. It is for this reason, the lawyers say, that the proposal for the amicable settlement was made by Big C to our client instead of directly to the Attorney General. Our client then informed the Honorable Attorney General that he was forwarding the proposal to the Attorney General for his consideration. For the avoidance of doubt, our client hereby confirms that while the proposal originally emanated from Big C, our client has wholly accepted the proposal. We therefore have the consent and authority of our client, the third accused person, to begin a plea negotiations with the Attorney General. Further, our client has brought your letter to the attention of the other accused persons in the case and have requested them to confirm their support for the settlement process initiated by our client. We trust that this clarif clarifies the matter and we look forward to your cooperation in an amicable. You see, whether you like Godfrey Dami or not, he's a clever lawyer. You can't take that away from him. When he got the letter from them, any other lawyer will say, okay, let's move on. He said, hey, stop right there. As if he knew today will come. Godfrey Dami knew that today will come. 
So he told them that, but you wrote a letter to me in the name of some company. I'm not interested. I am prosecuting accused number one, case Lato Fossil. Accused number two, who is gone? Accused number three, Richard Jackpa. It is them I'm prosecuting. I don't know your people. A C, big C or small C or blue C or whoever. They should go away. The people write back and said, oh yes, we know that it is true. But for the purpose of this, we are clarifying this here. He said, we therefore have the consent and authority. Now, they submit if you read this letter. The man that you say that he says that somebody is asking him to do some case well, he was the one begging that he has understood that he has done wrong. Now, if you're an attorney general and you receive a letter like that, what are you going to tell Richard Dakwa to do for you? He just, you don't need him. First of all, you have scaled the, the, the handle of the submission of no case. You've defeated them on that one. You're on the highway. And then they write and say that they are begging. And then they are now saying that they who say they are begging, they are now saying that the, 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 the attorney general is the one who is forcing us. What kind of thing is this? Is it mental health or something? I mean, I just discussed mental health, so I'm sorry if I... I don't understand it. Now, I have to force in a 20, 23 year and on the dinner coaching a quarter or more channel, Serenia Basam, the name far from Eden Faha. Now, some of you are not going to be able to do about a year this case or the warning and a man a year in Pipia Munukun or say or more a year in this for or more evidence or more plenty of evidence are or more they ever out. Last week, you made it clear that you are preparing yourself to give us evidence to back these claims and you did just that today. Four conditions or four demands that you are making today. Run us through them and how early the youth want these, you know, demands met. The first is the immediate and unconditional resignation or dismissal of the dishonorable Attorney General Godfrey mm -hmm. Yabuadam. Mm -hmm. Because clearly his conduct as can be heard on the tape we play today and the other pieces of evidence we adduce mm -hmm. show that he is unfit to occupy that high and hallowed office of attorney general. Mm. Now, any person who goes about tempering witnesses, suborning witnesses, persuading witnesses, witnesses to lie or deceive a court of competent jurisdiction or to fabricate evidence and all that, is criminally minded and lacks the character, the integrity that an important office of Attorney General and Minister of Justice requires because that position is a very important position. You know that the prosecutorial powers of states under Article 88 of the Supreme Law of the mm -hmm. Land are all vested in one person, the Attorney General and Minister of Justice. He's very powerful. He has a lot of discretionary power. Mm -hmm. He can change your destiny in a split second. And therefore, we cannot allow a man who has proven to be bereft of integrity and honor, a man who does not subscribe and adhere to the ethics of the legal profession, mm -hmm. the code of ethics of prosecutors to, ought to occupy such an important position. And so we are saying he should resign now or that the president should fire him. Number two, we've also demanded a full-blown, publicly televised parliamentary inquiry. Mm -hmm. You know that members of parliament have the power to censure any minister of state who violates the constitution or their oath of mm -hmm. office. Clearly, Dame has violated his oath of office and the 1992 constitution. He has engaged in crime. He has engaged in unprofessional conduct. Mm -hmm. And we are saying that if the president refuses to remove him, this matter should be probed, not just this matter, but other allegations of judicial manipulations by this attorney general. Mm -hmm. Because if he can do this, who knows what he can do? The, the, the desperate lens he can go just to pervert the course of justice. Let's probe all of that and censure him. Parliament has that power. Number three, we are calling for the immediate commencement of disciplinary proceedings by the General Legal Council, the body that has supervi supervision over lawyers in this country, mm -hmm. to hold Godfrey Dame liable. To, first of all, investigate that matter, give him a right to be heard, and to go into the issues and if he is culpable to impose the necessary sanctions on him because rule 13 is clear a lawyer cannot or is not supposed to communicate to a represented party on the blind side of the lawyer or the that counsel. represented party okay you need a, at all material times the consent of the lawyer or the ideal situation is to communicate with the lawyer because the representative party is not a lawyer. That is a presumption. 
And so you, as a lawyer, can take advantage of him if you engage in any negotiations or discussions with him. And that is why our ethics as lawyers enjoin us to go through the lawyer once he's represented. Mm. He, he didn't do that. He has engaged this accused person, Mr. Jackpa, on countless occasions. I, some I guess, WhatsApp, some mm -hmm. in phone call conversations, mm -hmm. some in physical meetings, and today we demonstrated that to you. I, 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 I have some, some few questions. Uh, okay. Let's, but but so, let me just end. Okay. Um, so there is a disciplinary proceedings because of the breach of Rule 13, Rule 14, Rule 54. And that you want the General Legal Council to take To it investigate. Out. Then the motion of censorship by Parliament, which will lead to mm -hmm. a publicly televised probe, mm -hmm. is immediate resignation, okay, uh, 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 or dismissal. Mm -hmm. And we have also demanded his arrest and prosecution mm -hmm. because he's heard on tape telling an accused person who doubles as a witness before a court of competent mm -hmm. resignation to fabricate, forge, a medical excuse duty when he knew that that accused person was healthy he says go and forge it go and deceive a court so that i can get an opportunity to travel at this stage because you are a lawyer i mean you allow me if i play around words and say that yeah because the attorney general has not come out to deny or accept that the voice is his we will play on the assumption that this is an allegation against the attorney general well you can call it an allegation but i won't call it an allegation in the sense that in courts, you see, this matter is not something that just imagine me. Right. You know, the last mm -hmm. week, Thursday, the 23rd of May, um, Mr. Jack Pad, the third accused, was cross-examined mm -hmm. by lawyers for the first accused, Honorable Atto Forsen, right? And in courts, in courts, the third accused boldly told the courts that the Attorney General has been calling and meeting him at odd hours, impressing on him to skew his testimony, answer questions in a way that implicates the first accused. And he has told him that he cannot do that in good conscience mm. because he knows that, that what the attorney general wants him to do is untenable, it is false. We hear the word... So, do, so, do, so do, that do, evidence... We hear the word hold on, about... Hold on, hold on. Do you accept the deal? I don't know what deal the attorney hold general is talking about. So, so, so that evidence mm -hmm. is not part of the record. Mm -hmm. And the attorney general knows the rules of evidence section 6 is clear. Mm -hmm. if, he, if he thought that that evidence was scandalous, vexatious, whatever, the laws allow him to object. And the law say the rule says object timelessly. Mm -hmm. He did not object. Mm -hmm. And so that is part of the record. And so we... The, this being a public proceeding, we can rely on that record. And we have gone further to give you the further and better particulars. That is a hardcore evidence. So this is no longer an allegation. We have all the proof he can dispute any. If he disputes, he will have to tell 10 lies to justify every one lie he tells because we have abundance of evidence. What we have released today is just the tip of the iceberg. Mm. Now you were asking me. I was asking because I, I didn't, I didn't hear him that, let's say uh -huh. to force him or mention the other name. What I heard him say was that I mean, just accept the deal. Yeah. I don't know which deal he was talking okay, about. So, uh, no, who in reference says, this deal with so, so he says on the tape that if you accept... The deal. No, if you accept this increase, no difficulty for you. If you accept the deal, at another place, he said, if you accept the deal. Mm -hmm. Then at a certain point, when he was impressing on the Ted Aki, the Ted Aki said, you mean you, the way you want me to answer the questions mm -hmm. or go about it? He said, you, let, let's take it like that. Mm -hmm. The way I want you to go about it. Mm -hmm. Then you see them referring to his position. The deal. Accept this. Right? Now, if you listen to the full conversation, you get a contest. The contest is what Jack Pass says. That what you, if the reason his difficulty in accepting the deal, the deal, which is to is testify and answer questions in the way that Attorney General wants him to do, is that it will help the, the states mm -hmm. secure the conviction of an innocent man. And that his conscience cannot allow him to do that. This is Japa. Yes, because he knows. General. Yes, because he knows the man is innocent. Mm -hmm. And the attorney general continues. The attorney general said, "No, I'm not talking about the first accused." Exactly. Though. So, of your course, he knows that he's because you see, as we speak, there are only two accused persons: mm -hmm. Jack Power and Forsen. So, if uh, 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 Jack Power and Atto Forsen, first accused and third accused, the second accused, former chief director of the Ministry of Health, has been. You know, acquitted, right? Not discharged. Mm -hmm. No, the state, I think, entered nolly prosecuting mm -hmm. and discontinuing the case against. Him. So the point here is that if he was engaging that conversation with Jack Pa on the 9th of April, when there were only two accused persons, who were they discussing? Assumption. It's not assumption. It's not assumption because they are talking about letters of credit, and he wants him to testify in a certain way about those letters of credit. 
And the guy is educating the age that your understanding of the effect of this letter of credit is wrong. And that those who did this letter of credit did no, nothing wrong. Because the letter of credit is only security. Mm -hmm. It is not payment. It has condition precedence. It is only if, when the condition precedence are fulfilled that the se seller can activate for payment. Right. The AG, this is trite. Everybody knows this. Yet the AG was still, you know, insisting that he accepts his position, which the accused person says, I know this to be false. I can't accept it. Mm -hmm. Who, who wrote the letter for those letters of credit to be um, established? It's out of force. Right. So if you wanted him to give false testimony that he himself knew to be false about the letters of credit, who was he trying to implicate out of force? Mm. So it, it is not assumption at all. Right. So, so you, 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 again, I come back to you because you are a lawyer. So how do you situate this conversation between the AG and Japa? Knowing very well that there had been an attempt for a plea bargaining, yeah. which, from the from what the general the, the chairman of the party said, this conversation took place in April 2024, is months it? or years before the plea bargaining had been on the table. Exactly. So the 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 so Japan that, himself wanted. So what that shows so, you, what that shows you, is that the AG has been lying to the public all along, and that is why he cannot be trusted. But there are evidence... You recall, when we went to the fact that letters, no, letters no, no, have no, been no, written no, no, asking on. for the plea bargain. Hold on. I'll come to plea bargain. First of all, when this matter broke in court, mm -hmm. the AG issued a statement at paragraph 2 of that statement on the 3rd of, 23rd of May, on last week Thursday. They stated that the state and the AG have never met any of the accused persons. Right. Neither have they sought their cooperation in any way. Those were the operative words mm -hmm. in the press statement. Now we've shown you the evidence that they've met. The cooperation, everything was there. You've seen the evidence. Mm -hmm. Then they come back and tell another lie contradicting the first lie. That, oh, it was a Supreme Court judge. This is according to the spokesperson of the AG. Mm -hmm. Who invited the AG to his house. And we had a name and, in the yeah, recording. And unknown to this, the, the, the AG, Jack Pa walked in. Today we've shown you a WhatsApp conversation between Mr. Jack Pa and Godfrey Dame, dated 16th February 2022. Mr. Jack Pa was first arraigned before the High Court on the 18th of January 2022 and mm -hmm. granted bail. A month after, he texts the Attorney General to thank him for the intervention he made in getting him bail, which is another conversation. Mm -hmm. And then he says, I would want an opportunity to meet you at your convenience. Mm -hmm. Then the AG says, I will meet you through your brother. Who is his brother? A Supreme Court judge. Right. So when the AG tells you that I never knew this man, it is a Supreme Court judge who invited me to his house. And I went there and this man just came there. He lied. This is how dishonest this man we called Godfrey Dame is. This is how dishonest. Now he talks about plea bargain. Look, the first First of all, you must understand that there is nothing unlawful about plea bargain. Mm -hmm. Ghana has passed a law. Of Even before we pass that law, mm -hmm. the courts act and join lawyers to, at all times, endeavor to settle litigations mm -hmm. out right. of court. So to set proposal for settlement is normal. That is why they will always title it without prejudice. Right. It doesn't mean that I am guilty, but let's settle. Right. Okay? Now, the first proposal for plea bargain or settlement in this matter came from Big C. LLC. The company, the company that supplied, supplied the, ambulance, the ambulance, which company is not even being prosecuted. They are not a party to the case in court. And I'm sure that's the reason why the AG and, and, department... Yeah, and the letter is dated 27th April 2023. Right? Mm. Mr. Dame was arranging meetings with Jack Pa 16th February 2022 in the, in the residence of a Supreme Court judge when no proposal for settlement had been made. So if he tells you that, oh, I was engaging him because of plea bargain, that's that is the word of a liar. So I mean, a big, no, no, yeah. let's stay on plea bargain for just for one minute. Oh, right. I, 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 I that, appreciate that. Just for of one time. minute. Yeah. Okay. Aside that, you see the, the, the evidence of the communication. 17 July 2022. Mm -hmm. There have not been any proposal or request for plea mm -hmm. bargain. 17 July 2022. Now, even when the proposal for plea bargain was made, three proposals, one from Big C, the second from Mr. Japa, the third one revised proposal from Mr. Japa, all of them were rejected by the Attorney General. Right. Rejected. True. So the court said, because you have rejected it, you've not settled this matter, I am proceeding to adjudicate the matter. And that is why the matter is being heard in court. 
And that is why Japa is testifying. Okay. So on the 9th of April, when he, he Dame called Japa for 26 minutes and he recorded him, Japa was going to court to testify. There was no plea bargaining because if there is plea bargaining, the court will give an adjournment. Absolutely. Now go and negotiate when you get a settlement and inform the courts. 